Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Omnifactory. And I've been busy, as you can see. I've put up more um, storage drawers because I've been mining lots of redstone. There are tons of redstone. Um, it's like you go to you go to some place that has redstone and there's like just hundreds and hundreds of ores which is a bit random yeah um i went mining for a long time looking for copper i only had about nine ingots left and i thought well let me start looking and i could not find any i went searching maybe for about five hours and i was starting to get really frustrated and then um because actually i should go down to my little mining ground and show you what i was doing yeah because i went downstairs and um the mining little mining place that i had last time i went and extended it i went down i went around i went all kinds of places discovered some skeletons um all kinds of things and couldn't find any oh i need to light up these bits but no i went down here because down here had lots of green and green and black i think it was so i went through here mined out in here did oh oh god yeah did all of that can i get back up without didn't mean to fall in then I went on the other side and did the same kind of thing again looking for stuff couldn't find anything I was starting to get really frustrated I mean I'm not gonna lie I was getting really really frustrated then I went into the basement I think of the building opposite I might be oh I didn't realize I had stuff down here as well Oh no, I don't. Right. But yeah, I think it was the building opposite and um, poked around for a bit and then I found, I got, uh, I wrote it down because I couldn't believe it. I got 14 stacks of copper. 14 stacks of copper ore. That's how much was in there. I was honestly flabbergasted because I didn't think I'd be able to find anything. So that was good. So I've smelted that all down, I think. I think it's now finished. Let's go and double check. Yeah. Let's have a look. Or have I run out of... I've run out of... Um, of wood, yet again. It's a good thing I've got my little rubber plantation outside. Because I am seriously running out of stuff run out of wood okay there's nothing out here I don't think oh that's pretty cool <laughs> that was pretty cool I didn't I didn't I I know I put it round in an L shape but I forgot that it would have come down like that so because I'm planting rubber trees I have tons of sticky resin which I'll probably never need. But I've got tons of sticky resin. Actually, sticky resin is a good way of making torches because you can melt the rubber into tar and then use the tar balls to make torches. So that's not too bad. Eh, yeah, that should be fine for now. And I will replant the trees a bit later. What am I doing? Yes, I need to make... I need to make um, this stuff to put into my smeltery and the rest I put in here as dirt I could put that away um, I planted a bit more sugar cane because I need paper because you can make paper rings so and I wasn't sure exactly how much paper I have 
I don't even know if I have paper. I have just over a stack of sugar cane, but I don't think I've made any of it into paper. So I will have to have a look and see because we need paper rings in this week's recipe, which is for the electric pump, the LV electric pump. And LV, I'm guessing, is low voltage. All right, let's, let's smelt these up to make um, tar. Yeah, and then we can get some get some torches going because you can never have too many torches. Right, so um, let's have a look. All right, so last week we made the LV motor, we made the wire mill so we can get our wire and um, we could go and make the alloy smelter or we can make the LV pump and I think the LV pump might be the way to go. I might have to make some of these off camera otherwise we are going to be here forever with me just making <laughs> making machines but we'll see how it goes. Right so the electric pump I need a tin screw, tin rotor, tin rotor is what? Tin plates, we need lots of tin. I don't recall finding any, a tin ring. Okay, I don't recall finding lots of tin in my travels. I might be wrong. Um, tin, no. We have 512 ingots. 512 and 124, so that's 634, 638 ingots. Okay, so that's 8, 9, 9, almost 10 stacks of tin, so that should be okay. Is that tin there? No, it's manganese, and that's not tin either. All right, so yeah nine stacks of tin that should be okay like i said i don't recall no i don't think what's this oh iron i don't recall finding any tin let's have a look uh, aluminium sin bar copper no iron gold and gold no okay well we'll we'll see We'll see how it goes. And we need some more space to put the copper. Um, there is no rhyme or reason to what I have. It's just wherever I put them. I try to be organized, but you know, I mean, this is me we're talking about. It doesn't really happen. I do try. Honestly, I do try. But it doesn't really happen. Okay, so we need... Let's get some tin out. Where's the tin there? That's tin, yes. Gold, tin, lep lepida lep lepidolite, 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 and silver. Okay, tin is probably this one. Yes. So let's take out a stack. Alright, so what do we need? Alright, tin screw, tin rotor, paper ring, a wrench, a medium bronze pipe, and that was why I went looking for the copper because the bronze is copper it's a copper and iron blend another paper ring an electric motor we made that last week and one and a tin cable okay so the tin cable we can make downstairs with our new handy dandy all singing all dancing machine the wire mill 
So that's that, and we get two tin wires for that. I think I'm going to bring the machines back upstairs. I don't think they need to be down here. Because we can take out some of these, um, some of these things, work tables, and put the machines up here instead. Okay, um, tin screw. I have screws here. Okay, iron rod, iron bolt, iron screw. Okay, what do you need? Oh, you need an iron bolt. So to make the iron bolts, you need a saw and an iron rod. And to make the iron rod, all right, so let's, do we have tin in here? No, we don't. All right, let's put 16 in there. And that's a tin rod. And then iron bolt. That's the, that's that. And then the iron screw. And change that for tin to make a tin screw. Okay. Um, tin rotor. Uh, a rotor is tin plates, a file and the screwdriver, a ring, another screw. Okay, hold on. Let's get another screw while we're standing here in front of it. Iron... A uh, tin bolt, tin screw. That's that, isn't it? Oh, we need to make. Oh dear, I can't wait for it to get um, for it to be automated. Iron tin rod, and then tin bolts, and then a tin screw. Okay, so that's two tin screws. The rotor. A file, a screwdriver, and plates. Alright, so. Tin plates we already have. Oh, we had some tin in here. Awesome. So let's make as many tin plates as we can. Let's make 16, 15, oh no, 16 plates, that should be enough. And a ring is a tin rod and a hammer. Okay, do I have a hammer in my thing? No. I do have a screwdriver and a file, which is handy to know. I know one of these has a hammer to do something. There's a wire cutter. <sighs> Alright, let's make a hammer. Do we have sticks? We have sticks. I really need to put a crafting table. Need to put more. All right. Uh, electric pump. No, not a paper ring. Rotor. Tin ring. Nope. Tin rod. I wish there was a simpler way to do this. Tin rod. Oh, I keep, I see ring and I'm thinking that's what I want. Right, tin ring. Plates, a screwdriver. Okay, 
what we're missing just the screwdriver and the other thing and the file which we have rotor that all right um paper rings we need a knife which is I can do the simplest one is a flint knife so that's a piece of flint and a stick we can do that we have flint we do have flint don't we seriously we have flint I've seen flint are you kidding me we have no flint all right how do you make flint can you just do it from gravel um two bits of gravel and a mortar will give you do we have any mortars in here i know i had a mortar yes i do and do we have any gravel not in there Um, that is stone. You mean to say I have no gravel? And it's night time. I can't even just pop outside and get some. Um, okay, let's... Let's have a quick sleep. Uh, no, not... That's what I want to do. Right, let's go get some gravel. Uh, zombie? Hi zombies. And a spider. Do you have anything for me? Just rotten flesh. Okay. Just on the off chance that they had something. Okay, let's go get some gravel. How much gravel did we get? We got... 42. All right, that's fine. We only need two pieces. I keep forgetting to put a pressure plate on that door so it will shut behind me. Okay, we have a mortar. Oh, we got flint. I was just about to say we have flint, but we got flint from um from the gravel. Oh, what was that? Oh. That's interesting. Okay, a piece of gravel and a mortar will give you sand. That is very interesting. I wonder if you can do that with anything else. And do I have any sticks? A stick. Okay. Knife. Um, okay, hopefully I can use that, and we want paper, so you need two paper rings, so that means, where is, I only needed, because you get three out of that. So, motor, LV, no, not the motor, it's a pump, <laughs> it's a pump, not a motor, Shane, pump, okay, paper ring, alright, uh, we need another piece of paper, that's two, okay, that's good, uh, we need a wrench, we need a screwdriver, we've got the tin cable, we've got the two things, oh we need the medium bronze pipe, okay so we need six bronze plates, so that's 12 pieces of bronze, alright we want 24 pieces of bronze, do I have, I think I had bronze, 
yeah I've got seven bronze ingots but then I also need oh am I full I guess I am okay um let's go turn these into plates as copper plates bronze plates all right so we got three bronze uh, three bronze plates out of that and then to make more bronze we need copper and iron did i have iron i've got one on me we had another mortar in here i can't wait to get proper storage because this is doing my head in all this wandering around if we had proper storage it would make life so much easier um no i wanted the iron that was in there okay so i don't know why i came back around here uh, bronze bronze smelting bronze dust so three copper and one tin oh it's tin not bronze gives you four okay um and no that's not what i meant to do i need to thing it down and then the tin see that's the technical term to thin it thing it down then i can thing that down as well let's probably do one more and then you you need the alloy smelter don't you no you can use you can use this it's three two where is my tin i'm not being blind right I just did tin oh there it is I was being blind honestly I could not see that right so that gives us 20 all right let's put you on the floor for a second all right and then we could smelt this up Has this run out? No, it ha oh, aluminium ore. It doesn't like that. I have to try and remember that. I don't know if that's supposed to be ground, but it doesn't like to be smelted. Um, is our stuff ready? Yes, it is probably not going to be enough but it's enough for now okay bronze pipe how many plates did we get of course it would have helped if you picked it up Shane because you know we got three uh, we need three more let me make a space for a table right here do i have any wood on me no i don't um those no we need four planks i'm seriously having a brain apart today 
I'm looking at the planks thinking I need four of those and I take out one because I'm confusing it with the log. I am having a serious brain fart today. Okay, right. All right, so that's that. Do we have everything? We're missing the wrench. The wrench, the cable. Didn't I have tin cable? That's tin wire. Okay. That is tin wire. We need cable here. Uh, tin wire. We need rubber sheets. One tin cable, and that's uh, tin. These things are so small and faint, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, we need the wrench. The wrench is in my satchel. Ah, uh, that's the Yetta wrench. Where is the... the oh. Can I use any of these wrenches? Let's have a look. I doubt, but yeah, it's missing that wrench and the electric motor. The electric motor was in here. Oh, and there was some flint in there as well. Okay, never mind. But where is my wrench? Let's just make another one. I cannot look for. I can't go around looking for another one. Um, let's drop that for now. And we put a table here. Right. Finally, an electric pump. So we have the electric pump. Thank you. So we can claim our Omni pennies. And compressor. I think that's what we. I think that's what we should be aiming for. So after that really painful experience, I think the next couple of machines I am going to make them offline. I was kind of hoping that I could have, I could have done it on camera, but the amount of derping around you have to do just to make one machine, I think it might be better to um to make it off camera so at least then we could put these machines down and go towards the lv compressor lv mixer what's that i wonder mixes two dust to make a third oh you use it to make glowstone dust and energetic blend glowstone dust is made from phosphor dust and gold dust an energetic blend is glowstone and redstone. Okay. So yeah, I think once we get these, I'm going to have to do these off camera and get them out the way. And then we can go for the compressor. The LV robot arm. Because the alloy smelter, we're going to need that. The fluid solidifier? Oh, you can use the fluid solidifier to turn lava into obsidian for you. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to try making these things off camera so then we can get towards obsidian and the pump. Okay, well we have obsidian because I just went and mined it by hand. But you know, it could be, I guess there's other ways to do things. Okay, so yeah, that was today's episode, making an LV pump. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.